Hello, Ms. Pneumatic here. An electric cylinder is the type that is operated by using an electric motor and a ball screw, and it converts electric energy into mechanical energy to perform various tasks. Such electric cylinder is capable of precise position control, so it is popularly used in automation machines requiring precise position control. Today, we will actually disassemble an electric cylinder and briefly examine how to perform maintenance. If you are curious to know what an electric cylinder is, please check out our previous video on electric cylinders first. Okay, let's start Myth's pneumatic story on maintenance of electric cylinders right away. Electric cylinders are generally divided into two types, inline and parallel structures. To explain briefly about both structures, the inline type has a simpler structure, so it is more convenient in terms of maintenance, whereas the parallel type has a complex structure but occupies a smaller space. In an inline structure, the apparatus and electric motor of an electric cylinder are connected horizontally. With a driving motor and ball screw connected by a part called coupling, unlike the inline structure, a parallel structure has the apparatus and electric motor of an electric cylinder connected vertically, and the motion of the electric motor is delivered to the apparatus through pulley and belt. With a parallel structure, if an issue occurs with the tension of the belt that you see on the screen or if the belt is worn, precision may be compromised or noise may occur. So, the tension of the belt that you see on the screen must be inspected regularly, normally checking the belt tension every six months or when an electric cylinder has completed 300 kilometers of operation is recommended. Then, how do we inspect such parallel structure belts? Let's actually disassemble a parallel type electric cylinder to answer this question. This video of an actual electric cylinder and its disassembly was filmed with the help of KCC employees. Let's look at the video right away. First, when you check the backside of a parallel type electric cylinder, you will see a part called pulley and a pulley cover that protects the belt. Loosen all screws of this pulley cover. Once all these screws are removed, you will see a pulley and a belt inside. If the belt is loose and is not pulled tightly, it means that the tension of the belt has weakened. So, we need to make this belt taut again. To reapply tension to a belt, insert support of a proper size in the gap between the motor and the apparatus to exert force between the two components. Since the support is exerting a force between the motor and the apparatus at this time, you will see that the belt has tension again thanks to this force. With the support still installed, if you refasten the screws you see on the screen to fix them, the belt returns to the state where tension is being applied to it. In case the belt is broken or severely worn, it needs to be replaced. In order to replace a belt, separate the electric motor and apparatus first. Loosen all screws you see on the screen, which are connecting the electric motor and pulley. Once all the screws are removed, the electric motor can be detached from the apparatus. And by slightly tilting the motor down and pulling it, you can separate the electric motor, belt, and pulley. Then, hook a new belt on the pulley at the bottom and put the electric motor back in. Now, refasten the screws fixing the motor and apparatus and apply tension to the belt using support that we saw earlier. Finally, 
Refasten the screws of the pulley cover to install it. This completes the maintenance of the belt of the parallel type electric cylinder. As I explained earlier, in an inline type electric cylinder, the electric motor and apparatus are connected by a part called coupling. A typical electric cylinder has a structure wherein the coupling is easily visible. So, it is convenient to inspect the condition of a coupling. Any broken or abnormal coupling must be replaced. Then, let's take a look at how to replace a coupling on the screen. First, loosen all the screws on the transparent case you see on the screen to remove the transparent case. Once you remove it as shown on the screen, you will see a coupling, which has two fastening screws. If these screws are fastened, the coupling will hold the electric motor and ball nut on both sides. Since we need to detach this coupling from this apparatus, loosen these fastening screws you see on the screen in advance. Now, loosen the fixing screws on the back of the electric motor of the electric cylinder. Once you loosen the screws, pull the motor to remove it. Now, remove all the screws inside the case that protects the coupling. Once these screws are removed, it will be easy to separate the case. If you have loosened the fastening screws of the coupling, you can also simply disassemble the coupling and apparatus. In this state, replace the coupling and then reassemble the electric cylinder. Here, before reassembling the coupling, you may inject grease on the electric cylinder. So, I will also explain how to inject such grease. In a state where the coupling and the apparatus are removed, loosen all the screws you see on the screen. When you pull the part shown here after loosening the screws, you will find a ball screw inside the cylinder. When this ball screw is in pull state, you can then inject grease throughout. Once grease injection is finished, reassemble the electric cylinder in reverse order of disassembly. The injection cycle for electric cylinder may vary depending on each company's machine guideline or the operating cycles of electric cylinders in each machine. In addition, a typical electric cylinder is already greased when manufactured, so please note that you do not need to inject grease in normal situations. Today, we have dissembled actual inline type and parallel type electric cylinders and studied the basic maintenance methods together. Please note that KCC, which has helped produce this video, offers a variety of electric cylinder series. Miss Pneumatic will return next time with a story on other hydraulic, pneumatic, and automated parts. Thank you. Miss Pneumatic's Easy Pneumatic works with KCC, a company specializing in hydraulic and pneumatic manufacturing.